Bonjour, fellow travelers ready to fall in love with Paris? I'm Mario and let's be honest, who wouldn't fall head over heels for the City of Light? From iconic landmarks to hidden gems, Paris has something to enchant every visitor. So grab your beret, pack your appetite for adventure and let's dive into the top 5 places you absolutely must visit in this magical city. All right, let's start with the big one, the Grand Dame herself, the Eiffel Tower. Even if you've never been to Paris, you know this iconic structure, it's the very symbol of the city, and trust me, seeing it in person is a whole other experience. Standing over 1,000 feet tall, the Eiffel Tower was built for the 1889 World's Fair. And let me tell you, they knew how to make an entrance back then. Now you've got options for experiencing the tower. You can take the stairs, all 1,665 of them, for a good workout and bragging rights. Or you can opt for the elevator, which I highly recommend, especially after a long day of exploring. The views from the top? Absolutely breathtaking. You can see all of Paris spread out before you like a beautiful, intricate map. The Seine River winding its way through the city, the Champs-Élysées stretching out like a majestic boulevard, and the Sacré-Cœur Basilica perched atop Montmartre like a beautiful white crown. It's enough to make you want to burst into a chorus of La Vie en Rose. Now, a little tip from your friend Mario. If you're planning on going up the Eiffel Tower, and you absolutely should, book your tickets in advance online. The lines can be, how shall we say, a bit enthusiastic. Trust me, you don't want to spend your precious vacation time standing in a queue that stretches longer than the Champs-Élysées itself. But hey, even waiting in line at the Eiffel Tower has its charm. It gives you a chance to soak in the atmosphere, people watch, and maybe even strike up a conversation with a fellow traveler. And who knows, you might just find yourself sharing a baguette and a bottle of wine with some newfound friends while you wait. Speaking of romance, the Eiffel Tower is about as romantic as it gets, folks. I mean, you can practically feel the love in the air. It's a popular spot for proposals, anniversaries, and just plain old-fashioned hand-holding. So, there you have it, the Eiffel Tower. It's iconic, it's impressive, and it's an absolute must-visit when you're in Paris. Next stop on our Parisian adventure, the Louvre Museum, home to some of the most famous works of art in the world, including a certain lady with an enigmatic smile. Yep, I'm talking about the Mona Lisa, She's smaller than you might expect, but trust me, she's got presence. Be prepared to brave the crowds for a glimpse, but hey, that's part of the fun, right? But the Louvre isn't just about Mona Lisa, folks. This place is huge. We're talking over 35,000 works of art spread across three wings. You could spend days here and still not see everything, but don't let that overwhelm you. My advice? Pick a few must-see masterpieces, grab a map, and maybe a compass, and wander to your heart's content. You'll stumble upon hidden treasures, marvel at sculptures that seem to breathe, and maybe even get lost in the maze-like corridors. Speaking of getting lost, I've got a funny story for you. A few years back I was visiting the Louvre with my family and my dear old Uncle Tony, bless his heart, wandered off from the group. We looked everywhere for him, convinced he'd somehow taken a wrong turn and ended up in 18th century France. Turns out, he'd found a comfy bench and was taking a nap surrounded by Renaissance masterpieces. We still tease him about it to this day. But hey, that's the beauty of the Louvre, it's full of surprises. One minute you're admiring the Venus de Milo, the next you're face to face with Egyptian antiquities, or wandering through Napoleon's opulent apartments, and don't even get me started on the building itself. So whether you're an art aficionado or just appreciate a good masterpiece, the Louvre Museum is an absolute must visit in Paris. Now let's step back in time and immerse ourselves in the heart and soul of Paris Notre Dame Cathedral. This Gothic masterpiece has stood on the Ile de la Cité for centuries, witnessing history, weathering storms and captivating hearts. Even after the devastating fire in 2019, the spirit of Notre Dame remains strong, a testament to the enduring power of human faith and resilience. As you approach the cathedral, take a moment to simply admire its facade. The intricate carvings, the soaring towers, the famous gargoyles perched atop the roof line, keeping watch over the city below. Legend has it that those gargoyles come to life at night, soaring over Paris and warding off evil spirits. I don't know about you, but I find that oddly comforting. Now speaking of gargoyles, let's talk about the elephant in the room, or rather the hunchback in the bell tower. Quasimodo, Victor Hugo's novel The Hunchback of Notre Dame, has captured imaginations for generations. And while the story is a work of fiction, it's hard not to feel a connection to Quasimodo as you stand in the shadow of the cathedral that was his home. 
But Notre Dame is more than just a backdrop for literature. It's a living, breathing testament to faith. Step inside, and you'll be enveloped by a sense of peace and tranquility. The stained glass windows now being painstakingly restored, bathe the interior in a kaleidoscope of colors, and the sheer scale of the cathedral is awe-inspiring. Take a moment to light a candle, say a prayer, or simply reflect on the centuries of history that have unfolded within these walls. Visiting Notre Dame is an experience that will stay with you long after you leave Paris. Get ready to climb aboard our metaphorical funicular folks because we're headed up to Montmartre, the highest point in Paris, and a neighborhood that's bursting with artistic charm, bohemian spirit, and some of the best views in the city. Now, Montmartre is a bit of a climb, but trust me, it's worth every step. As you wander through the cobblestone streets, you'll feel like you've stepped back in time. This is the Paris of artists and dreamers, of cabarets and can-can dancers, of Toulouse-Lautrec and Picasso. At the very top of the hill sits the Sacré-Cœur Basilica, a stunning white-domed basilica that seems to glow in the sunlight. Head inside for a moment of quiet contemplation or simply admire the view from the steps. You can see all of Paris spread out before you like a giant glittering map, but Montmartre is more than just a pretty view. It's a neighborhood with a pulse, a heartbeat that thrums with creativity. Wander through the Place du Tertre, where artists set up their easels and capture the spirit of Montmartre on canvas. You might even find yourself sitting for a portrait, a unique souvenir of your time in this magical neighborhood. And speaking of souvenirs, be sure to explore the shops and boutiques that line the streets of Montmartre. You'll find everything from quirky antiques and vintage clothing to handmade jewelry and local crafts. It's the perfect place to find a one-of-a-kind treasure to take home with you. As the sun begins to set, Montmartre takes on a magical quality. The street lamps flicker to life, casting a warm glow over the cobblestones, and the sounds of music drift from the cafes and bars that line the streets. So, put on your walking shoes, embrace your inner artist, and get ready to fall in love with the bohemian charm of Montmartre. For our final Parisian adventure, let's trade those cobblestone streets for a different perspective. Hop aboard a bateau mouche, a traditional Parisian riverboat, and prepare to be enchanted by the city of lights from the most romantic vantage point imaginable, the Seine River. As you glide along the Seine, the city unfolds before you like a scene from a classic film. Iconic landmarks like the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre Museum, and Notre Dame Cathedral take on a new grandeur when viewed from the water. It's like watching history float by, each bridge, each building whispering tales of centuries past. And speaking of history, the Seine River itself is steeped in it. It was the lifeblood of Paris for centuries, a vital waterway for trade, transportation, and even defense. Today it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a testament to its enduring beauty and cultural significance. But don't worry, a Seine River cruise isn't all about history and grandeur, it's also about romance, pure and simple. As you drift beneath bridges adorned with love locks, the gentle rocking of the boat and the soft Parisian twilight conspire to create an atmosphere of undeniable enchantment. This is the perfect opportunity to capture those postcard-perfect photos of Paris. The Eiffel Tower shimmering in the distance, the golden glow of street lamps reflecting on the water, the charming houseboats bobbing gently along the banks. Trust me, your Instagram feed will thank you. So sit back, relax, and let the gentle lapping of the water and the soft strains of accordion music wash over you. Whether you choose a daytime cruise for breathtaking views or an evening cruise for a touch of Parisian romance, a journey along the Seine River is an experience you won't soon forget. And there you have it, folks. Five unforgettable spots in Paris that will make your heart sing. From the iconic Eiffel Tower to the charming streets of Montmartre, the City of Light never disappoints. Remember, these are just a few of the countless treasures that await you in Paris. So get out there, explore, get lost in the magic, and create your own Parisian love story. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your favorite Parisian memories in the comments below. Au revoir.